And um, Zach and Jared sucked the fun out of every no, no. ride. Zach sucked it all sucked up. the fun out of it. I didn't okay, suck Zach. anything today. <laughs> Especially is that not why fun. you're grumpy? Is that why you're grumpy? What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 53 of Dropouts. This is our pajama episode. Woo! Pajamas. We're all in pajamas on the set. Pajamas. How fun and flirty and twerky and, and silly is that for us, those little silly gooses over here? <laughs> really, we have no other ideas, so we thought we'd change our outfits since we can't come up with any things good to talk about. Hopefully, visually, this is a little bit different. Um, today, we've got two humans that look the same. Uh, what are you guys' names? We've never been on this podcast okay. before. It's like exciting is that is that is that your idea of a joke huh because you've been on here twice we've been on here so many times i think you're tied with mads i think she's been on here three times you guys have been here on three times it doesn't matter you guys have the same face that's the only reason we have you on because it's interesting for to look at oh uh, Jared, i think me. mads is probably getting paid huh oh yeah everyone else gets paid but you guys oh. yeah you have to pay us to be on the show we keep having to promote their only fans um oh jared, God, jared so hit, hit him with some uh intro music I just realized everyone has a blanket. I need to go get my blanket. No, Jared, you don't need one. You're the producer. Trust me. We don't oh, have an Jared's OnlyFans. Gone. Yes, you do. I subscribed. You wish we had an OnlyFans Th- No, I wish your mom had an OnlyFans. There's oh, a difference. No, sir. Yeah. I will suffocate you with this blanket. Asphyxiation. A-S-P-H-Y-X-I-A-T-I-O-N. I think I spelled that right. That's a tough word to spell. Why'd y'all give him a mic? I'm back. I have a blanket this time. Yeah, right. That's an invisible cloak. <laughs> um. Okay, Maya and Micah, Mia, Mika, what do you guys like to go by? You guys have one name? I know you share a brain. <laughs> Micah, that's it. Okay. Maya. Which um, one's which? I'm Maya. Uh, but, um. Okay, so what? there's this rumor going around that you guys are dating the same guy at the same time. <laughs> Where <laughs> did you hear such a thing? Um, That's the, the internet. So I think you're a reliable place. You're watching that TLC show. Yeah, wrong twins. Ha, has There's a TLC show where twins are dating the same person. Yeah, yeah. and they're like trying to get pregnant by at him the at the time. same time. I heard that if a guy's talking to you and like you diss them, they just go to the next one. Is that true? Oh, that happens all the time. How Wait, does that make you feel? <laughs> what? Really? Yeah. yeah. Like every every. And dude. they think like we don't talk about it. Like, didn't this dude just hit you up? Yeah. yeah. And. He's hitting me up now. What? Like, they're dumb. <laughs> we talk about things. Maya, is that your name? <laughs> the twin farthest from me? Listen, I've heard that you are 20 years old, about to be 21, and you haven't had your first kiss. Oh, my gosh, Zach. What? Just put, put me on blast. You make 700 there. TikToks about it every week, so I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> I yeah. barely post on TikTok. Well, all I know is you haven't had your first kiss, and we need to make that happen before you're 21. Okay? Zach made it. A rule that the first guy I kiss I can't marry. No, because that's the way you are. That's You'll like so fall. true. Yeah, she'll fall in love and be like, I'm going to marry him for the rest of my life. No, we can't have that. Why? We need options because I need you slobbing around with your tongue <gasps> all over town. Zachary Christian Justice. I'm going to tell Gina. It's called character development. I'm going to tell Gina. My mother? Yes. Listen, my mom, mom, I personally have never kissed anyone because I'm not <laughs> a little hoe bag like these girls over here. <gasps> Well, you haven't kissed anybody either. So Jared, like, you're just going to sit there and let Zach How, just wait. Like His jokes Zach, are you so stop bad. It. Sorry, Jared. He literally Go just on, said how. <laughs> Do we leave now? No, you guys we, have to stay for the whole podcast. Do we get up and podcast. leave now? You, you, your jokes suck because you literally just put me out that I haven't had my first kiss and they called us a hoe. Oh, well, I, okay. Yourself. I'm that. apologizing right now. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't. Okay, I've been a little hostile when you guys came on the podcast. I don't think you guys are hosts. I think you guys are endearing humans <laughs> who I want to hug. Maybe if you guys are down, no. you guys want to hug no. right now. We'll no. get up and do it. Three Why way not? hug. What about you, Jared? Four way? Yeah. Nothing sexual. Well, just a hug. I don't like the way you phrase that. Like four way. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah a little sexual. Oh, I'm so sorry. Should I try again? You guys want to? No. I'll no. hug. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't like that in my ears, Zach. Oh, I apologize. Okay, so can we get this? Like, is there anybody up to bat for this first kiss of yours? Yes. What do you mean? Like, what? You think I should, like, open a kissing booth or something? Yeah, that'd be perfect. <laughs> no, like, I the think, movie. No. Do you have an ideal first, like, first kiss? Like, do you have someone that you wouldn't mind being your first kiss? Like, but that's not the reason why. Like, I've had opportunities to have my first kiss, but what is. Can you walk me through one of your. <laughs> Can you walk me through one of your kissing denials? Denials? So like, a, yeah, you um, and a guy are together. He leans in for the kiss and then you just, you turned him down. What happened there? Like, well, the first time <clears throat> we were like parked down the street from my house. and I Were was you like, alone? Yes, we had went on a date. Oh, this is. I mean, the dude had went on a date. This is getting a little date. heinous. And, <laughs> and he, he had parked like right down the street from my house. So I was like, oh, I know where this is going. 
And I told him, I was like, he's, he's like, you know when guys like sit there and they just start staring at you to like get in the mood or whatever? Whoa, what else <laughs> happened? No, nothing happened. That's exactly my point. Or else I would have my first kiss right now. Okay, did he lean in? No, yeah, he was leaning. I was like, we're not doing that. <laughs> and he's like, what? I was like. Like, wait, you straight up said we're not doing that. I was that. like, we're not. Yeah, I think I said legit that. I was God. like, we're not. Wow. We're not Crushing doing guys' that. hopes and dreams. No, I didn't say, like, I said it nicely. I was like, we're not. Oh, we're not do doing that. that. Actually, well, having just spent the day with you, I know for a fact you did not say it nicely. No, I didn't. I only oh, talked yeah, to you guys. You, oh, these what is twins. That supposed to mean, these twins, they'll find anything that they don't like about you and they'll, <laughs> and they'll tell you at full volume. No, Zach keeps making fun of my belly button. Yeah, because you made fun of my hands. <laughs> Okay. Listen, I just say you guys are grown men. I'm not going to sugarcoat things for you. I'm actually nice to We all we can you not agree that we have a joking relationship? We don't have a joking relationship. I cry immediately when oh, I go no. to sleep. Zach has like he calls us all the names in the book. Uh He makes fun uh, of every little thing we Amazing, great, do. beautiful. Oh no. Okay, Ho-bags. that whole back thing was out of line and I'll admit it. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't I didn't know you guys, I didn't know you guys could hear me. So that's my excuse. <laughs> I'm um, speaking of hoe bag, Jared. Um, what? What? Mm-hmm. Why? Am, why speaking of hoe bag? You have a girlfriend. Yeah. So, um, she was here. You, she she you, came for what? No. Did you wait? Did you call me or Hannah? A I would bag? never call Hannah a hoe bag. She is a saint. I love Hannah. We love Hannah. They do. They did what? What? You're oh supposed to say me too. I think that's well. What you're of course, to I say. say me too. But I was like, she was. I was gonna say she was bummed that she didn't get to see you guys. Yeah, right, dude. She didn't. Even well, come you say kept hi. her from us. I yeah. did not keep you're her. Oh, yeah. Hiding you're, her. You're embarrassed of your friends. You like, sent her I'm back home the day we not. flew in. That's your fault. Uh, Let's plan this me. better. <laughs> well, <laughs> y'all like don't talk because both of y'all asked when we were leaving. Like, what if we told y'all we were staying for a month and y'all didn't pay attention to that? And we well, Jared here. and I don't talk often. We, no, I that's know. what the podcast is for. Like, Zach didn't <laughs> yeah, even know this that is Jared. This our weekly talking. He didn't even know that you were leaving. He asked us, Zach asked us when you were leaving. I was like, that he's your roommate. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> Welcome back to episode 53 of Dropouts. Sorry, I had a hard reset. Okay, so you guys have the same face. Yeah, we're over it. We get it. It's such you a gimmick. You use that every time we're on the But podcast. it's just such a gimmick. Why don't you guys find your own unique style? You know what I mean? <laughs> I think we look nothing alike. Are you joking? You what? agree that we don't look anything alike. It's copy and paste. No. I can tell you guys apart, but you guys definitely look alike. No, I don't think so. Who who uh, receives more interest in um, boys? Micah. Um, definitely Maya. No, my DMs are flooded with your your sister is so pretty. Micah is such a bad. All my DMs. Maya, are how many hook guys me up with your sister? How many guys have Snapchat you today? Oh. Two. Thousand. How many, <laughs> no, how two. How many have Snapchat me today? I don't know. Mine are like uh, streaks, though. They're friends. It's <laughs> getting awkward. <laughs> I can show you my DMs. They're literally all about Micah. Well, wow, Micah. Same okay. Here. They're all about Maya. So, how. Uh uh-uh, uh, Jerry! <laughs> <laughs> There's so many things I want to talk about that we can't talk about. No, <laughs> Jerry, you can't do okay, that. Okay, so there's a possibility that Maya might lose her first kiss virginity while she's in LA here. No. Okay, no, no you, chance. You've been talking to a guy. No, right? I haven't. Yes, you have. I'm literally. What are you talking about? I'm literally not talking to anyone. You've been talking on. Okay. I'm not. You're, you're, snipping, you're snipping and snapping. I see you snip snapping. I have oh, friends. You show me the selfie and be like, Zach, do I look good enough in this? And then like you're like, should I go put on another push up bra? And I'm like, What? I'm like, Maya, do not do this. Okay. If y'all do not listen, Zach makes up stories. Zach like Justice, bad. so I'll clarify. Zach. Because he spells the name C H. I don't. Makes up hella stories. I don't wear push up bras. My biddies are small and I just live with that. Jared, huh. what do you think you look like in a push up bra? Sexy. Exactly. Can you just own it, Maya? I don't own a push-up bra. I don't know what you want me to say. <laughs> I don't either, but I know I yeah, look sexy. You know he, look, he knows he looks sexy. You need to have a little bit more self-confidence. Look in that camera right I now. I do. That's why I don't need a push-up bra. I'm confident with my itty-bitties. Where I'm not advocating for you to get a push-up bra. I'm advocating for you to get a little bit of confidence. And this is fake confidence I right now. I think I have look at, confidence. Look, look in that. Okay, just the way you said that, I knew you didn't. Look, yeah. at, that, <laughs> look in that camera right now and say, I'm a baddie in all, and I'm... No. Okay. I'm saying that. <laughs> See, I'm a th- I'm a thick mama who <laughs> who deserves a good man. Say that, like a little bit of attitude. <laughs> no. 
Come on. I'm not going to say it. Say, I do deserve a good man. You say, know? I deserve a hunt. I, I deserve that blue bill hunting for this twerking ability or something like along those lines. Just shout it into the camera if you can. <laughs> can I call my dad? <laughs> I think we need to change our flights. Well, my number would, I mean, my phone would probably ring. Okay. Um, <laughs> Ew. Have I been gross this podcast? I'm going to turn it down. Let's get a little bit of wholesome. So when did you guys learn your ABCs? <laughs> we spent the day at Universal today. We went to Universal Studios, some might say. And um, Zach and Jared sucked the fun out of every no, ride. No, Zach sucked, it all sucked up. the fun out of it. I didn't okay, suck Zach. anything today. <laughs> Especially Is that not why fun. you're grumpy? Is that why you're grumpy? I'm grumpy because you guys never let me sleep. You guys come into my home, you invade it, and then you're like, hey, Zach, <laughs> let's watch movies till like 5 a.m. And then we'll get up at 6 a.m. and then just rally and do the whole thing. I think yesterday. Today, y'all woke me up to come watch a movie. I didn't wake you up. Trust you? me, I want to let no, you sleep. No, I literally went to Zach's room. We finished the basketball game. Then he started moving. He goes, do you want to go get the other twin? And I was like, okay. Well, I didn't want you to feel left out. So because honestly, if I would have woken up to a mid-movie, I'd be like, oh, I would have been nice if Here's you would have Here's the asked. thing. Zach puts on this Justice. whole show about how like miserable he is when we're around, how much he hates us, all that stuff. Vigorously. When Zach literally calls us just to see what we're up to when yeah, we're back home in Texas. When we're coming. Because I'm a good friend, and I can tell you guys are going through some pretty dark times right we're now. We're friends? I'm never staying here again. Why? <laughs> I don't feel welcomed. Same. We wait, Jared. Star rating Jared, on wait, 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 wait. I want you to talk about that awkwardness that happened this morning. What was the, oh. Oh, you you're going to make no, me no, look so bad no, on the internet. No, just listen. Wait, I want to hear what Jared has to say. You mean the awkwardness when I was sitting out here, it was a wholesome morning, eating my breakfast. You and, were not uh, eating breakfast. I had just Maya, finished please. my breakfast. This is Jared's time. Maya. Okay. What happened? And all of a sudden, Nothing. I hear the door creak open. I hear Zach's door creak open. Oh. And I look up and I say, is that, is that, uh, what, what's my name for you? I'm baby boy. You're daddy. <laughs> um is that zach uh and sure enough i look up and it was maya mm -hmm. creeping out of creeping my room out of zach's room at what time in the morning was it in the morning yeah she, it looks like her hair was a little messed up and the room was still the dark hair was wet hair was definitely messed up that's what happens when you take a shower you okay. you showered it wow that's even worse. so she showered Literally last okay, night, wait. we all discussed what time you might have to be up for our appointment what appointment and we didn't go wax. coochie wax appointment <laughs> wait how was that did it hurt? Painful. But she was so quick. She was so quick. But no, no, let me explain. Because y'all make me look like a little hoe on the internet. I have texts saying, Zach, are you up? And he said, yes. I oh, said, you hit him with the you up text? You hit him with the you up? Wow. At, at like nine this morning because I had to go to my appointment. I said, can I please shower? And he said, this is me yes, officially you can you. shower. And I'm, I'm going to stay asleep. I said, cool. So I went and showered. And then I come out the of the bathroom i'm she, dressed fully dressed no fully i locked the door drenched is what she meant to say no <laughs> i locked the door and i'm in my pajamas i come out and i'm like why is jared looking at me so weird and he goes that was a little sus i said what was sus he's like the way you just came out of zach's room i was like i literally zach's sleeping i closed the door quietly so i wouldn't wake him and then no i was fake sleeping. through the whole apartment because i could tell she would have tried something if i wasn't fake okay sleeping. tomorrow morning i'm gonna slam every door i'm gonna wake y'all all up that's what we're I can't. Used to. No, we can't do anything because I I did that. I I closed the door quietly. I tiptoed back to my room, and then yesterday I was walking normally. And Jared goes, "Why are you walking around like you own this place?" <laughs> I was like, like, I can't do anything. Listen, wait, do not make yourself at home here. Is what we're trying to say. <laughs> I know. I'm never staying here ever again. I can't believe you guys didn't get us a hotel room. <laughs> you, dude, we can barely afford, uh, afford our rent. You think we can afford? Hotel rooms? I mean, no. We have a whole set in here. All right, we're all going to sing the same exact song on three. Ready? I thought One. we were going to talk about Universal. I know what song we, we I'm going to sing. We will. Ready? I know Ready? what song I'm going to sing. I know what song I'm going to sing. Okay. okay. You know, wait, wait, wait. Michael, you got yours? Wait. One. One. Wait. What, ready? Two. I don't have one. Three. Three. I want to go home. And turn them lights down low. I want to go home. <laughs> I didn't have a song. Can you guys just play along and act like you're friends with us, please? No, because you guys are mean to us. We're not. Oh, no, we're oh mean. We're mean to you. <laughs> I've never experienced two humans who's been more mean to me. You said all would, day about Zach's feminine hands. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and, and then you, and then what did you say? Someone actually commented about that on our video. Someone did like, comment about that. And I'm sure Zach's insecure about that. Isn't that right? Um, No, I think it's just a part of who I am as a person. Feminine hands lets people know that I'm not very threatening. I'm just saying, if y'all were to stay at our house... We'd make y'all feel at home. Do we not make you feel at home here? No. no. 
What what Why? what could we do oh, to make you feel more? Anytime at home? we do something, Jared's like, "We're letting you stay here." <laughs> what did we do? And then I woke up this morning, and I, Jared was making breakfast. I said, "Oh, you're making us bre- breakfast today," <laughs> and he just laughed. <laughs> I said, "Why is that funny, Jared?" And he goes, "You know why." <laughs> Wait, what can we do to make your stay a little bit more pleasurable in the Justice Inn? You guys have no the Southern Justice hospitality. Inn. Yeah. Why is it not the Bailey Justice Inn? Because that doesn't sound good. <laughs> Why is it not the Dropouts Inn? Uh, you know what I mean? Um, over to you guys. The Drop Inn. Uh. Oh. Uh. What can we do to make this <laughs> uh, a more pleasurable experience? Buy me a hotel room. No, I can't <laughs> afford it. Okay? Why don't you get on that street corner and make your own I'm money? I'm trying to get out of here. We were, when we were driving into Universal, Zach <laughs> rolled down his window and yelled oh at some gosh. lady said, you walk in or work in? <laughs> like, he's so disrespectful. He's so disrespectful. Okay, that was... I, I'm not a cat caller. That was a joke, and she was maybe 95 years old. You were staring at some chick's biddies yesterday on the street. Oh, that was hilarious. Okay, so the... They get to town, and we have a little bit of a crazy problem near our apartment. There's some some crazy humans walking around, and we pull up to, what is it, a stoplight, and there was this woman who had the biggest <laughs> and worst butt job I have maybe it's ever seen. Huge. It was really but big. It was, like, just lumpy as all get out, and giant, <laughs> like, it stretched almost... Okay, she had like the skinniest legs you've ever seen, and then pro- literally a butt probably this big. I Are mean, you body shaming? Zach? No, I'm not. Oh, well, yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> you can tell like she injected her, herself. It was not good. And then, it was like when Squidward had all those Krabby Patties. Oh, That's yeah, what yeah. It like. Okay, and then she had fake boobs, but they were one was three sizes bigger than the other one, but you could tell they were fake boobs, and then her bra was just off it wasn't a bra she wasn't even wearing a bra it was she a tube had, top she had a tube was, top on and this it she just took below down her boobs. so the milkers were just on display you know you, i was getting a little thirsty at this point Zach was, yeah he was trying to holler yeah he was drooling he was like this and she likes chilies because they ran into her at the oh grocery okay store. so that's funny so we see this lady just walking down the street we're like oh her full boobs and nipples and then her fake butter you hollered out. at her don't forget i said what's up shouty and then um um it was it was not a pretty sight, if we're going to be completely honest. And then oh. we go into the store, and she walks in and somehow, like, finds us. No, we go eat first. We do go eat first, and then we go to the store, and she's in the store, and she comes up to us, and she's like, you can tell she's probably a heavy drug user, so I'm sorry for her. I hope she gets her help. But she says, I know there's chili around here. Where can I find it? <laughs> and I was like, I do not know, <laughs> and I couldn't tell you. It looked like her pants were stuffed with chili, for being completely honest. Oh, yeah, she's a sweet gal. She's a sweet <laughs> gal. But not Why did you take it to Chili, Zach? Because I'm Zach was like, I knew I recognized that badonk donk any from anywhere and I was like, I recognized her from her hat. <laughs> she did have that blowout booty. Oh my god. It's like the definition of that card in red flags is like body type dumpster. Yeah, That's I feel so bad for sad. It. Um Universal. What was y'all's favorite ride? Oh yeah, we went to Universal. It was what it was your first time too, right, Zach? Yeah, for the one in California. I've been to the one in Florida. I just don't want to talk about it right now. Okay. You don't have <laughs> don't to talk about to it. Anyway. <laughs> what right the heck? Um, but it was the first time we went to Universal here in California. Um, it was fun. I didn't realize that this one didn't really have like roller coaster roller coasters. It's more like uh like forty experiences. Mm-hmm. But they were pretty fun. Um my favorite Honestly, I'm going to say this. My my favorite was kind of the Transformers one because that one got me excited. I felt like a real Transformer and it lived <laughs> out my childhood dream. The Mummy will forever be my favorite. The Mummy was cool. Honestly, it was in a very expensive place for not that cool of things to do. It's it's like a it's you, a go one time thing, yeah, maybe twice and then back. never it again. It was not very cool. Like, the one in like, Florida was pretty sick, but this one, it was just kind of small. There's no actual real roller coasters. And I would cry if I was actually on a roller coaster, so I don't know why I'm complaining. But um, Horror Nights is a different story, though. Yeah, I will go to Horror Nights money. every year. That is worth all my money. Because they invented the monster genre, mm-hmm. you know? But that's why I was like, if you guys wanted to ride roller coasters, we should have gone to Six Flags. Yes, but, but Zach I don't hates get, roller coasters. I, I get very sick. 
I even get car sick if I sit in the back of a car. Oh I'm very, gosh. I'm very much a <laughs> you're like fragile little pa- baby. I am okay. Then coddle me. That's all I'm asking. <laughs> you, know? you look like you're swaddling yourself yeah. right now. Well, no one I else mean, will do it. I mean, his fingertips look like he sucks on them. You so. look like you <laughs> have the suds. What? <laughs> Dude, I want to I want to drown you too. <laughs> he literally told I want to take earlier. you to my bathtub in there. I want to run the water for a second and then I I want to sit you down. We're going to have a nice conversation. This could be your last one. Then I want to add up absolutely put your heads underwater until you can't breathe anymore. That's what I want to do to you too. Guys, we always like wonder just what's going on inside Zach's head cuz he'll just he'll come in the living room and just say the weirdest thing and then leave. <laughs> or he'll say something and then he'll go <laughs> And just stare and we're like, off. what? Like, I was walking and I got blisters from my shoes today at the park. I have blisters in my head. And he's like, I was like, my band-aid's falling off. And Zach literally asked if he could keep it. And like. Okay, as a he memento. Said, and then he said he you. wants my blood inside Because him. I'm iron deficient. <laughs> Whenever we left our wax appointments this morning, he asked if he, we could bring him back a strip <laughs> to add to his collection. Yeah, it's just a question. And then when we were walking <laughs> up to Universal, I had said something to him, probably something smart, but ish, I'm sure of it. Yeah, you said. And he said, "I really hope you fall on the speed bump, and I um, bash your head until your teeth fall out." Well, <gasps> I didn't say Zachary. I. No, no, no. I said I hope you trip and fall, and you crack a tooth. No, that's really not what you said, Jared. <laughs> Jared, what did he say whenever me and you were sitting in here earlier, and he just came in after taking a shower? He said something to you, and then left. Probably and something we were like, like, hey, you're looking sexy today. Can't wait to see you later. And then I walked out because I give compliments out. No, it was I'm not a compliment that. guy. It was not a compliment. I He's, don't I don't remember. I forgot what it was, but we literally were like. But I remember the speed bump thing. <laughs> he just he absolutely off. said, I hope you trip over that and crack your head open. <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, the thing that you line. said to me was pretty hurting. Okay. What did I say? I don't know, but I know it's <laughs> it stained my soul and I tried to forget it immediately. It can't be that hurtful. It was hurtful. It. No, because I deleted it. I said, not keeping that in my memory <laughs> or I'll think about it too much at nighttime. You guys should treat me better. What? Okay, everyone go around the, the room. The Band-Aid story reminds me of this quote on uh, my shit Zach says uh, list. <laughs> and he says, he said one time, girl, I'd pickpocket that uterus and steal your tampon, but only if I was a vampire. Okay, because that's that way I'm not killing people, and it's like, it's like a popsicle. <laughs> Pit pocket <laughs> your uterus. <laughs> yeah, if you're a vampire, wouldn't you just take tampons from people? And because I don't want to murder people, I'm not a murderer, so I steal your tampon because, and then, and then we don't have all this tampon waste in our landfills because no, I'm, that's nasty. But I'm a vampire. a vampire. I need blood. <laughs> okay, you bite people. You're in the not neck. a vampire. But I don't want to kill, kill people. I just want their tampon blood that way. Can why is Jared trying to <laughs> justify that? Because it makes sense. <laughs> why can't you just get blood transfusions then? Oh my gosh, it's so expensive. You know how many girls are in the tri-state area right now that are Tri- menstruating? All they have to do is show up to my house. I'll have a delivery system. Gerald will run the van. I think tampons. you thought about this too much. Tam- okay, so I don't think you thought about this enough. Girl, vampires don't just drink their own period blood. I'm sure they do. Do they menstruate but- though? Excuse me. Oh yeah, girl. They don't. They wouldn't. They don't have reduce, uterus? reuse, recycle. Wait, they don't have a uterus. <laughs> yeah, but but they're Bella like, was pregnant. Aren't. Uh, but was she? She wasn't a vampire at that point. They, she became a vampire after the baby to save her life. Yeah. Remember? Why she got do really I know sick? that? I hate that I know that. So Wait. then her daughter can't have kids. She don't have a uterus. Uh, Wait, I feel like she was a vampire before. I don't think Jared it's, Google no. vampire uterus. I think, yeah, because she, I think they did it during. Because she was going to die if she didn't like turn into the thing is How I do think you guys know so much about wait the I can't series. remember did the last one end whenever she woke up on the bed and her eyes changed after she had the baby spoiler alert. and then there was another one after that or I thought I think that there was, was the last another one, one after okay. that spoiler the, yeah, alert the, the movie's been out for like eight years <laughs> yeah and I was I was gonna catch it this weekend but I guess I won't anymore my plan like, just opened up when that when those movies came out they were so good but if you watch nope, them back again they, they were corny. corny they're so corny yeah of course they're corny they were corny then. I love them. Well, Zach, you have to remember, there's, what, five years in between you two? Or you guys? So How many years are between? (laughs) 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 I love how y'all are so planned with y'all's podcasts. Podcasting is hard, okay? (laughs) Every week, we got to talk about things that are interesting. You think anything happens to us? We're not interesting people. Y'all have interesting lives. Name one thing. (laughs) Well... (laughs) <laughs> off or on camera <laughs> yeah are we talking on camera if you guys camera? know something you can say it for the family 
I think more interesting stuff would happen in your life if one you stayed off your phone throughout the day oh, and two real? you oh. were awake this dude every time we got off a ride this dude was on his phone i had like three different business things i had to get, take care of no you were watching You're the watching basketball, basketball game that was at the end when you guys were at starbucks for 45 minutes getting you a water no that don't act like <laughs> don't act like the only reason you walked in starbucks was to give me water i've been calling you walked in starbucks i said hey can you guys give me a glass of water while you're in there would that be okay it wasn't even a glass but go off Sorry, it was plastic cup. I've been calling him like because all day he had, he was complaining about the cup of water. I reminded Jared to get. Why was Zach. I? Why was Excuse I complaining? me, I knew that I was gonna get him that water anyway. <laughs> you two forgot, and then are no, like, no, I remember. I, we I was, were, oh, did you we remember because line. you didn't ask the person when it was your turn? We I were s- in line. You were holding the milk. I specifically remember this, and I said, "Don't forget, we have to get Zach water." And, and, I then, said, and then, and, and I then said what did Jared act- say? Jared said he can get his own dang water. Ooh, yeah, he Jared. said. He said that. He did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. You said that, Jared. <laughs> I thought he was gonna come over here. <laughs> Jared, I thought we were boys. I mean, he did get you the water, but when I, I said, said that, that as a joke, but and just, yeah, I was the only one that got him the water. I think you're only I, my friend to my he face. He only needs one. Really I friend. even asked what? He only needs one. Well, okay, but you two went before me. So if he only needs one, then why I didn't, didn't want one to of get you him the ask? water? Because if I got it for him, the water would be sitting longer. Then it would have been watered down by the time. Oh, the water, the water would have been the watered, water down. Been watered down. <laughs> Also, okay, this is no, the same situation you, with Zach. This podcast you is a crap shoot. You definitely turned around after you ordered and walked away. You said, "Oh shoot, I forgot to get Zach no, water." No, I didn't say that. I said. Don't forget to get Zach no, water. You said, "Oh shoot, I forgot Zach's okay, water." Okay, but if then if we would have remembered and got the water, then you wouldn't have gotten the water at all. This is the same situation <laughs> yesterday when we went to the grocery store with Zach. I said we should get Jared a birthday cake, and Zach goes, "That was literally coming out of my mouth." <laughs> and then whenever we <laughs> saw, who do you think I am, Jared? <laughs> it's not the way Jared, I speak. He was like, "I got you a cake, Jared. It's from me." Yeah, because Jared and I get each other cakes on birthdays, and I walked in the store with the intent of getting. Jared a birthday cake and I you walk in. You act like getting someone a cake for the birthday is like so. It's pretty important for Jared. You and I. planned yeah, a trip on Jared's no, birthday. No, he acts like it's so not normal. Like everybody. Oh, I forgot gets I went to Chicago. The there, birthday. we can talk about something there. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I was. Yeah, we grasping was, for straws. Yeah, we haven't How was your deep heard dish? anything about Chicago. I went to Chicago. I just went there. Nothing, you know. Never seen the city, so I figured I'd go. How was the deep? What dish do you mean? Pizza? What? You didn't go there to see our third co-host? Nope. I went there by myself. I didn't Why didn't know she you was there. go, Jared? What? Why didn't you go? Because Hannah was coming into town. That's his oh, girlfriend. Oh, and it was your birthday. And it was my birthday. He'd rather have kisses with his girlfriend than hang out with me. How pathetic. <laughs> anyway, I went to Chicago to visit a friend. And we... Why can't you say that you went to go visit Indy? Okay, well, I went to go visit like Indy. Like, they're going to know. Yeah, <laughs> like, it was all it was over your, your story. guys' stories. <laughs> okay, I went to go visit Indy in Chicago, and we had a great time. We Okay, we went to this super authentic um, Italian place. Ever had, ever had Italian food? Delicious. And then afterwards, the person comes out and said, meals paid for. Walk along. And Wait, we like, really? Yeah. Oh, Wait, who paid for so your nice. meal? Um, the owner of the uh, establishment. And right. I was I was giddy. I was like, oh, wow, that is such a nice sentiment. Um, Wait, because what? the people that we went with um, are friends with the owner. So oh. I, I tried oh, so to, it wasn't like you. Yeah, I tried, to, ma- special I tried to make you. it feel like I was special, but um, <laughs> it was going to get paid for regardless. How was the um, Van, Van Gogh, Gogh Museum? Museum? Oh, yeah. And then I found this. Uh, Indy and I went to this live Van Gogh exhibit, which was pretty cool. They that projected really all cool. the Van Gogh paintings on the wall. So we like walked around like we're sophisticated human beings. And we like looked at things. What and, like, a cheap, like, <laughs> like smart. No, I'm saying like, how smart are they? Like all they need is projectors and a blank wall. Yeah. And they make, how much was it? It was like sixty bucks a person. Oh That's my gosh! Big, sixty bucks a person. Off a yeah. Projector. Then Indy and I just walked around like, oh, look at the sophistication in this painting. I can't believe that he even thought of that. When really we were just like, yep, that's a sunflower. So <gasps> what's this one? I love the sunflower painting. See? I was gonna I get did the sunflower a, painting for my bathroom. Really? Yeah. I did in Oil junior high. We, they had an art contest, and my art went all the way to state like i won Whoa. for state and i did a rendition of the sunflower painting from van gogh with oil pastels wow yeah that's actually can impressive. we please talk about that one incident that happened at the club please no we no, can't mom, mom said us. not to we can't. have you ever seen that movie though Such where they story. painted each frame to look like a van gogh painting what wait say it again 
there's a movie. Uh, it's called Loving Vincent. And oh, yeah. each frame is painted, like hand-painted to look like a Van Gogh painting. What? Really? That's crazy. Do you see this shit? <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you see this Wait, shit? Wait, so they, pa- they each painted one of these each is, one? Yeah, each one of these is hand-painted by somebody. That's a lot of work. That is a lot. Dude, You know they would have to take the same painting and make one little difference in each one. Uh-huh. Over and over again. Are you kidding said, me? Because yep, that's how it works. Well, no, like for like the listeners that don't know how like film works or like any video, I mean, there's a certain amount of frames per second. So in film, it's 24 frames per second. So for each second of this movie, they had to paint 24 individual paintings. That's How insane. long did it take them to make this movie? Oh, my God. It took them six years to finish. Wow. Was created by using frame by frame animation techniques similar to stop motion that started with roughly 65,000 oil paintings on canvas. I know Zach is not yawning. I'm tired. We have to watch a movie after this. What movie do you want to watch? Why the you, Mummy. Why don't you guys ever just go to sleep? Why don't you want to hang out with us? I d- I've been hanging out with you all day. You guys just have me running here, running there. Oh, let's go on. We this. went to Universal. <laughs> yeah, that's what. That's you why. You want to stay in one spot? That's why I'm so tired. Sometimes I just get tired. You know what's funny? Zach was rushing us to get out the door today to go to Universal because he's freaking, well, yeah. out, freaking out about us spending 100 bucks on our tickets and not being there early. And then we get there, and the dude's the last to leave the lines, the last behind everyone because he's watching his basketball game on I his phone. I kept calling him an iPad kid today. That was the funniest <laughs> thing. I was walking around like this all day. Well, <laughs> it is the Eastern Conference finals and i wanted to just watch a little bit of basketball it's the nba finals you know but you're so eager to leave to universal and then we got there and we got stuck well if we're waiting in line there's nothing oh, else yeah. to do so i'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna watch a little basketball. our first ride the harry oh potter we were on ride. the harry potter ride we were we were going through hogwarts with old harry potter trying to catch the golden snitch mm. you guys were there remember that yep. yeah um, jared was like this <laughs> the dementors are it was so real the dementors yeah, are following us we think we're getting our gonna get our soul sucked and then we're like ah don't kill us and then the ride just cuts off and we're just stuck in there what is what was it three hours <laughs> <laughs> actually every time we're at a theme park together the ride shuts the down ride, it does well yeah. you guys Remember last time we were talking unlucky about this? and cursed. No, it's you. No, why would it's it be you? me? Because we've when never we go, stuck, I'm God's gift fine. to the world. You are the cursed child, of Harry <laughs> Potter. Can you explain what the big thing that swings in front of us is? Every time I go the on that tree, ride, I'm like, what like is the that? Tree branch. Oh, the Whomping Willow. The Whomping, the whomping willow. willow. Yeah, it's a tree that like just it just beats people up. <laughs> really? I don't know. I don't know how else to explain it. It looks You guys have never You guys should watch Harry Potter. It <laughs> and it's, it's just swinging in oh. our faces. Why? It did Wizards. look a little phallic. So? What? We, growing up we weren't allowed to watch like wizard stuff. Oh, you can now. You're 20, so why don't you watch it? But I don't want to watch it. I have any though. desire not? to. It does not look entertaining. What I'm I mean? like rom like romantic movies and comedies. I yeah, just I, watched, or thrillers. Have you ever seen The Ugly Truth? It with sounds um, familiar. Catherine Heigl and Gerard Butler. Okay, you always name all these actors and actresses. I have no idea who you're talking about. <laughs> I only, remember, I only faces. remember faces. I'm bad with names. All right, let me look up The Ugly Truth. I just watched it. It's a great movie. Like downstairs um, when you were talking about your shirt and some dude mixed up with whoever. I was just like. Oh, my Frank Ocean shirt that people get mixed up with Dennis Rodman. Is I don't know who that is. Wait, can you guys you don't play know who that? Dennis Rodman is? No. It doesn't mm-hmm. matter. Can you, guys, can you guys play that one game where... You guys talk to each other, and it's like, we were doing it earlier. No, that's a sofa. Oh. All of us do? No, that? I want you guys to compete against each other. Like, who's the... And you guys got to be quick with it. Okay. I'm talking about that octagon that's red. It makes you... You have to... Stop? <laughs> what? <laughs> like a stop sign, or just stop? Just stop. <laughs> I'm talk- How did you guys ruin the game? I'm talking first? about a grandpa. No, pop? that's your pop. Pop. Okay, Jared, you caught it, so you have to go. Okay, wait, and then. How did you just ruin the game? <laughs> wait, I'm just confused. I as tried how to bring one game into this podcast. And nobody can even. Wait, Zach, you started off. What? We've already started it off. So I'm, wait. Okay, I'll start over. Let's just let's just move on. Wait. I'm Bad talking segment. about Zach's height. Tall. Yes. <laughs> I'm talking the place where you buy all your crop tops. The mall. (laughs) Okay, go. (laughs) I'm talking about that basket of balls. (laughs) I'm talking about when you're on the phone. 
No, that's call? a call. I'm talking about um, the time of year where the leaves change. Oh, no, that's fall. <laughs> oh. I'm, ta- I'm talking about better call. Oh, you're talking about Saul. Yeah. Okay. But um, <laughs> I'm talking about that point in the in the movie where everything kind of da- dies down. Oh, the doll. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, but kind of the same. Kind of the same. I'm talking about the Meryl Twins' dad. Paul. <laughs> I'm talking about a restroom. Stall. <laughs> I'm talking about the twins are as tall as this toy. Uh, uh, twins are as tall. Oh, doll? I, doll. There doll. Because we they're only like 4'11". <laughs> okay, you got to go. You got it. I'm trying to think of another word. Um. And it's over. That was a fun <laughs> game, wasn't it, guys? Guys, I want to apologize for this podcast. Um, not only from the bottom of my heart, but from the bottom of everyone's hearts here. Everyone look in the camera and say sorry. One, two, three. Sorry. sorry. me. I'm Wait, talking about me. Lo siento. <laughs> me? <laughs> I'm talking about what they call people in Texas. No, that's y'all. <laughs> I'm talking. I'm wait, talking. Oh, wait, I thought this game ended. No? <laughs> I'm talking about um, a room has like four of them. Corners? <laughs> Wall. Wall. If we're all rhyming with the all sound, why the hell would it be corners? I'm like, what is he talking I'm about? I'm talking about what a dinosaur says. Raw. <laughs> that doesn't even. Wall and raw? Raw. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You guys need to go take a nap. <laughs> a nap? Yeah, you guys are getting a little delirious. It's either sleeping or just... Okay, speaking of word games, do we want to play our new game that we got the other week? Oh, yeah, let's play it. Let's play yes, it. Yes, let's play it's it because Zach was mean and crushed Jared's dreams of playing Cards Against Humanity. Okay, I think Cards Against Humanity, when you're like the perfect... Okay, well, at least in my case, <laughs> I've only really played it when I'm like hanging out with friends and like drinking a little bit. And when you are... Every night. When you, no, not just every no friends. night. When, when you are that perfect point of like tipsy, where every, you're kind of like giggly about everything, I think that is the funniest <laughs> game on planet Earth. And Zach crushes my dreams at every twist and turn to play that game. It's he just, sucks the so fun mean, out of Jared. everything. I mean, Zach, you're a little <laughs> dementor. Like if we said, like, what if you're like, guys, let's go watch the basketball game, and all of us were all, shut up, Zach. No one wants to watch basketball. But I knew you guys wouldn't watch that. Want to watch this? So I, I watched know. it with you last night. If Booker's playing i want to watch and no one woke me up yesterday you got a crush on devin he's a handsome guy he's winning at life i literally told you he last gets night to he win handsome. basketball games and then goes home and and absolutely kisses kendall, kendall jenner, jenner at midnight on different places of her body so that's yeah that guy's winning he's winning you guys have a crush on kendall jenner i have a crush on devin booker <laughs> <laughs> devin booker's life no he's a handsome man he is is kendall jenner your type jared um Oh, Jared's I got mean, a type. Uh, she's pretty. I don't know if she's my type. I usually go for blondes. Oh. But Shout out Hannah. Yeah, besides <laughs> but besides Hannah, none of my exes are blondes. I would so say Kendall like, Jenner is my type. That's like your ideal woman? Chick. I mean, she's pretty. pretty. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, I wouldn't mind hugging her, but Devin Booker, I'm not going to come for your lady. I know I could probably get her. So I would say, I mean, like I always say uh, that. Haley Steinfeld's my celebrity crush. I would say that's my type. She's Somebody more like she's pretty, like an earthy type girl. Yeah, like a little bit more real looking. Yeah, because okay. like I think Kendall Jenner is like the realest. Like well, Jenner. no, well, yeah, she's the realest. Jenner, but she's still but like, like a, I think she's super, like super supermodel. Exactly, I mean? like she's like so unbelievably like pretty that I would. I don't think I could date that pretty. You know, or why? why let's unpack uh-huh, that. Why do you think sad. that? I don't know. I just feel... He needs a confidence boost. So you'd feel insecure if you were with someone who's too pretty? No. I wouldn't feel... It's not like an insecurity thing. I don't know what it is. This thing doesn't work. Well, I Um, hope you... Well, we don't need it. I think Hannah's beautiful. I do, too. Do you think you're swinging out of your league? Um, Yeah. She's definitely out of my league. Great. Now she's going to hear this and break up with you. So nice job, Jared. I hope (laughs) not. And then she's going to text me. It's going to be this whole thing. <laughs> I'm going to obviously fall in love with her. We're going to get married. They're going to have to be at my wedding, which is also hers. Your ex-girlfriend and your ex-acquaintance's w- wedding. On a real note, are Did we all Did you just say ex-acquaintance? What? Yeah, that's me. 
What? On a real note, are we all going to each other's weddings? Um, probably not. We're probably gonna be busy. I probably won't get married. Yeah, because if you just kiss somebody, quiet, already. Maya. <sighs> Thanks, Jared. I like Dylan O'Brien. Do we open all of these? Um, we'll just open one. I wasn't asking you. I don't want you to breathe anymore. So, <gasps> Zachary, take that back right now. Did you hear her? Say <gasps> sorry. There Say sorry. No. She's not gonna breathe until you apologize. Okay, let's see how long she can go. Zach. Say sorry. I will not say sorry. And I know she'll breathe. She won't. My God. She won't breathe. She's going to breathe out of her nose and fake it. Mm. There we go. She's not going to breathe. Zach. This is great for our audio listeners. Just Micah not breathing. Uh-oh. Zach. She thinks something's funny. Say sorry. Say sorry. Zach. Wow, you're going for a pretty long time, actually. I'm pretty impressed. Fun I fact, I can hold my breath underwater <laughs> for a minute. Well, that... I feel like she just did a minute. You're mean. You're what? gonna let Your me die. Your minute is oh. probably <laughs> twenty seconds, Zach. Should we see who can hold our breath the longest? <laughs> really? <No. laughs> Do you guys want to see? That was a segment. Segment. Jared that got would win. Down. Why? Why would I win? <laughs> you guys you were just making fun of me for you how said, you hard said you I have big lungs. You said you have big lungs. No, I have lungs that have to work overtime because they never had. Okay, well, my heart has to work overtime. Now what? Why? I think heart overruns lungs. <gasps> Why, Why does your heart, heart have to work overtime? Does someone go because through a? Because people break it, and I have a heart murmur. <laughs> Who broke it? Let's let's put it out. In yeah, the world. let's unpack this. He doesn't deserve acknowledgement. Okay. Okay. My kindness was taken advantage of. Oh, and I was all. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> what? No, I meant, I meant that in a sad way. No, you both went. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Zach literally <laughs> told me before we started podcast. He's like, "Why do you let people? Why do you let guys walk all over you?" And I was yeah, like, "You oh, have no, well, you you why do you let ugly guys walk all over <laughs> you? <laughs> you? You let the ugly like you talk to not good looking guys, and then you let them just treat you like trash, and it makes no sense to me. Well, I. Why don't you like, get a, you could get a good looking guy that also treats you well, so why don't you do it? I can't pull guys. Yes, like, you can. That's I not don't want to hear it. Go to any guy on Instagram right now and DM him and be like, yo, what's up? And he'll be like, no, yo, they what's won't, up? They either won't answer. Not That's true. Not true. The guys that I like. I'm convinced you're just not. No, I'm being DMing dead serious. Or they're just like, they're just, they want something else that I'm not going to give them. So. Well, they want your flower? Go, <laughs> go find a good. Christian boy at I church can't. or something. I cannot find a good one. Do you have Tinder? No. Download it right now. No. Download Christian Mingle. We're about to no. swipe, swipe, swipe. Download mm -mm. Farmers Only. I'm fine being single. Yeah, that's what you say, but you're crying about a boy all day long. Wh who? Uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> Jared, don't put that in. He's going to. He's gonna, I don't even. He'll bleep out the name. Yeah, I'll bleep out the name. I don't even. Every we'll five seconds, you're like, should I text him back? Or should he text me back? Should I Snapchat? Why him? isn't he watching my story? <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you guys, only, don't put only, any of this in. He only watches one of my story, and then he won't watch the rest of them. No, today he's watching all of them. Okay, so what's that about? No, don't put any of that in. <laughs> he doesn't listen to this. Tell me what you I'm have, doing wrong. No, because you have the perfect guy. Who likes you so much and you're not even giving him the chance. Sir, yeah. he hasn't opened my Snapchat in six hours. Yeah, because he's and trying that to was what if he's and busy. That was he's, he's a sweet boy. You've said it yourself. Give him a chance. He is. But I, I've been... I, I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> Look at him. I know. He's, he's always, always on his phone. On his phone. I said one text and we? we're like, oh, this guy can't get off his phone. You guys. Sometimes I got to text some people. We texting? literally... We Who got texting? A friend. Who? Oh, yeah. Yes. Who? You're an impulsive liar. We were on the ride. We got as soon as we got stuck. As soon as the ride stopped, this dude, dude phoned before, someone before so fast. I even realized the ride was stuck. He was on this FaceTime. dude was on Facetime. <laughs> I was like, "What? How is he that fast?" I had people to talk to. Us. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Talk up to the people that you're that stuck, stuck on with. the ride with. <laughs> okay. I got a Facetime, so I'm gonna answer. But like, yo, I'm stuck on a ride. No, well, you called. I you did not answer. You called. Look, I literally turned to check on y'all, and I see Zach go, we're stuck on a ride. And we, it was literally a millisecond since we've been stuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, we were only know? stuck for like two minutes. I, 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 you know what? I should have I should have given more of my attention to you guys. I had a FaceTime, but and I answered it, and I apologize. Okay, can, can everybody forgive me? No. 
Well, Ooh, then was, how are we supposed I to was grow? I say yes. How are we going to grow <laughs> as people if we can't forgive me? <laughs> Micah, please forgive I can forgive, forgive me. but not forget. I'll so forgive you. Yeah, that's Just important. this time. Okay. I've forgiven too many times. Thank you, guys. Jared <laughs> Bailey. People, Any okay, you guys, listen. You guys trying to be Maya or Micah Bailey? I, I, no, they just shook their heads. Hannah no. is. Exactly. Oh, Hannah, I forgot about all that. Hannah Bailey. Hannah Bailey. Um. Oh, are you thinking about proposing? Not as of now. Like two years you're thinking? Are what's you your thinking about proposing? Feels, right? Jared, what's your ideal proposal? Oh, so yeah, can we get into this? This is, okay, this is stuff. I love romantic stuff, Jared. Now, now paint the picture for me. We might not even get to this game, and that's quite okay. That's literally, he's trying to avoid. No, no, I'm not. I want to know. Okay, you and Hannah, a couple okay. years from now, absolutely in love. Now. Hopefully, you're not watching this back and you guys broke up. It's really sad to go back and listen to this because. Wait, how many up. years would you wait? What is your ideal like amount of years to be dating to propose? Probably at least two. Okay, I ahead. would say so. So you're proposing at 25. We'll say that. Okay. Can you can you walk me through the thought process of where you're going to do for the sweet sweet girl? I'd probably honestly propose around 26. So let's say three years. Okay. Right. Um, what would I do? I'd go. To I think it would be in the fall. Nice okay. autumn leaves, colorful, beautiful, great for yeah. photography. Move on. Okay, it would be in the fall. Mm-hmm. Honestly, um, it would probably be on a trip. We'd probably go somewhere. I'd like to go to New York. Oh, um, nice. I think going to, <laughs> uh, like Central Park. Oh, like do you know where that that bridge is that's like going over the lake in I've there. I've never been to New York. Neither either. have I, but I've seen it. <laughs> no. I've, I've seen it in Spider-Man. <laughs> no, I was, I would literally, you know what I'm describing? I'm describing the scene in Spider-Man three, the Sam Raimi one where Peter Parker was going to go propose to MJ. And then like, she actually kind of broke up with him, but it was, you knock on some wood. I'm, oh uh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're down on one knee. You got her in the park. Now deliver the lines, baby. Yeah, please have a speech because I think it's so ugh when guys just How? go, will you, will you marry me? me? Yeah, give like, me a speech. Like, have a speech, please. Make me ball my eyes out. Ball for me. How long does the speech need to be? I don't just know. A few, like a minute. Like a, a monologue. Few. Confess no, your love. Minute, but like, I, yeah, maybe co- a minute. Jared, come on. Get into it really quick. Close your eyes if you have to. Um, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not Picture good Hannah. I'm not good You're on this. a knee looking up. Zach, write the speech for me. All right. Okay. Hey, Hannah. Jared here. Well, she's. It's just gonna be. The she, she, knows, she, knows she knows it's gonna be Jared. Okay. Gonna well be Jared. <laughs> it's not an email. You're down on that dusty knee. You look up at your baby girl and you say, "Hey, baby girl. You know what this one knee means? I'm pretty sure you do. But before we get to all that action, I want to say a couple things. Ever since I saw that booty." passed by me in the library i knew that one day i was gonna you looked at hannah's butt no he's I'm being writing, Jared. I'm he's being writing <laughs> jared's proposal but I'm saying, why would he know to talk about her butt oh my gosh you guys ruined everything will you marry me hannah <laughs> <laughs> i was literally gonna go into something so sweet and you guys really just cut it off <laughs> and honestly if jared and hannah break up and she comes to me i'm not, like for a whole, whole for probably two months because I'm Jared's friend. I'll probably put but her that'd off. be a downgrade, honestly. For oh God, <laughs> thank you. He said thank you. That's not very nice to say. <laughs> I think Hannah and I could have a great time together. Uh, Text her really quick. I don't. I don't think you guys. Why not? Could. You don't think I treat her right? Not that I don't think you treat her right. She I just, just wouldn't have fun with me. I think you guys get along great as friends, but I don't think you guys could be so like we probably, romantic. So we please. shouldn't start anything romantic? No. All right, I'm going to hold off then. <laughs> I appreciate that. No worries. I'm going to delete a pre-drafted text I had. He's literally just using that as an excuse <laughs> to get on his <laughs> phone. <laughs> <laughs> what, do y'all think, what do y'all think about, um? They call what's it called, growling? What? Growling. Oh. What is that? It's music. Look it up. What? Growling? Growling. It popped up on my For You page yesterday, and I was like, this is insane. Just watch it. Is it like heavy metal stuff? Kind of. Listen to this. Why why are you doing this? (laughs) (laughs) Why why are you doing this? I like some some songs like that. She said that took her five years to perfect. They just feel their emotions a little bit different than us. That sounds like my a uh, my sister's boyfriend used to scream. I don't know if it was 
it wasn't. I don't know if it was like that, but he used to scream in a band. He was pretty good at it at the time. Listening Our old to that hurts. Used to be in a band called Sterilizing the Deceased. Oh, nice. What? That's not wow. terrifying at all. Sterilizing the Deceased. Where do they come up with these names? I don't know. I was listening, a scared but it's to come STD. visit y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Listening to that stuff makes my throat hurt. Like, why don't you try them. it out? <laughs> do it. I cannot do it that. Really okay. just growling. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, growl for him. The only thing I do is like. I yep. can make that noise. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> Micah can't do it. Try it, Micah. <laughs> this is the it weirdest. It tickles podcast. my throat. <laughs> no, but that's not. That's not what that. We're was. not shooting podcasts at 11 p.m. <laughs> anymore after Universal. You should do like two two a.m. podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we gotta end this. We're growling into the mic. What, what were you doing before the podcast what? when you were on the mic? What <laughs> noise were you making? Oh, stop that! <laughs> stop. You know, I'm sorry. So Guys, <laughs> we're at over an hour. We can stop this now. That was fast, this, dude. This. I don't know if. Can like, we go get Krispy Kreme now, please? I don't know if five minutes of this is even usable. <laughs> Honestly, what did we talk? Did we? I don't even remember talking about anything. To be completely that was honest, a fever dream, bro. It's Zach's okay. not happy with it. We have to refilm. No, we don't. We have, have to refilm. refilm starting now. What the hell? Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching the sleepover um, episode of the podcast. And again, we like to all apologize for the absolute train wreck that you just listened to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure nobody actually stayed till the end. So everyone left after the first five minutes. But if you did stay to the end, make sure you DM me on Instagram your favorite pair of matching pajamas. Maybe I'll get them with you and then we could be little matching baby boys or baby girls. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for listening. I'm here with the clones who um, family doesn't love them. And I'm over here. <laughs> And then we got Jared on the, on the mic. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Follow us on everything. And India will be back next week. They probably I'm think we're on drugs, you guys. I'm literally only tired because I'm listening to that. I'm a little swag daddy. <laughs> I could probably put you guys to sleep with like a little. <laughs>